13 and 32. He took this fight on short notice, and he did it because he says he doesn't care. He'll take a fight on short notice. He always has. His nickname is The Animal. Listen, from all his fights that he had, and he had a whole bunch, like 45 fights in total, only two went through a decision, and those were in his winning fights. So all the losses he had was by submission or by knockout. But that means that this guy, with the nickname The Animal, he will come out banging. Trust me. And there's Jamie Yeager now into the Decadon. Remember, you can uh, vote at home. You saw there a minute ago. You can download the app, and you can be your own judge. I have the best nickname for him, Bomb. Let's go to Jazz with the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is brought to you by BeardGains.com, made for men, loved by women. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now, introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. His record sits 13 victories, 32 defeats. Standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing 169 pounds, fighting out of Palmdale, California, making his debut in the World Series of Fighting, introducing Daniel the Animal McWilliams. And now, his opponent across the deck gone fighting out of the red corner. His record sits six victories versus only four defeats. Three wins coming by way of knockout, two by submission. Standing six feet one inch tall, weighing 171 pounds, fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, by way of Pasadena, California. Making his debut in the Decagon tonight, presenting Jamie, the Chosen One, Yeager! Your referee for this fight is Mike Beltran. And you figure a lot of pressure perhaps on Yeager, 32 years old, he has been off for about three years with injuries, having to battle that, and then he had to come back with back-to-back losses. He's trying to get back in the groove, and he's fighting this guy, McWilliams, who takes the fight on short notice, has nothing to lose, and of his 45 career fights, 32 have all ended gentlemen, in the first round. First round. So you it's all or nothing style you for fight. McWilliams. Head up, let's go. And here they go. Yeah, scheduled for three. We don't think it's gonna make it that long. I don't think so either. And McWilliams shooting right in and pushing the action against the fence. He's got it. He might jump guard and he's going to get it guilty. Take him to the ground. Push the fix. Yeah, that would be something. He might get this. Group. He has muscled it to the ground and almost had it. Really watch out for this. This guy for it. They can rotate you. They can roll to the other side. He's got it. He's got it. That's it. That is it. Yep. Tick, tick, tick. That fast Jamie Yeager has finished off McWilliams here in the first round. Well, we said McWilliams comes out and ends quickly. Usually not in his favor. It didn't tonight. And it was a big win for Yeager to break a back-to-back -back losing streak. His seventh win now. He picks up his third by submission. Very nicely done. Huntington Beach, California. I remember he was in the ultimate finder 11. The legendary Tito Ortiz was his coach. Made it to the quarterfinals briefly in the UFC. Then some regional organizations hoping to find a home here in the WSOF. And in his debut, yeah, he finishes off the journeyman fighter, Daniel McWilliams, as he was expected to do. Well, let's watch his old thing again. Why not? Head up, let's go. It won't take long. Nope. We know that now. I think Yeager is going to win this thing. I have the feeling that it goes to the ground. He's going to get the scuff pulled. Then he goes for another one of the legs. McWilliams, when he pushed against the fence, it was right into Yeager's grill house, boss. Yeah, this was it. I actually expected him to jump guard him. Now he goes, he throws him to the side, wants to go for a crucifix, but he's too high up there. The head steps out. Now he's modified Scarfold. Now it's Scarfold. He can be thrown over to the other side. Not anymore because he's got the hand. Puts it in between his legs. 
and then you press your lower leg upwards and your upper leg down. And there's a look at the Daniel McWilliams corner. And Jamie Yeager with another victory. When we come back, we'll get the official time of that win. And the celebration of Jamie Yeager. No wonder he's battled injuries for three years on and off, delayed this 32-year-old's career, had back-to-back -back losses, but puts away in easy fashion Daniel McWilliams in the first round. Let's get the time of that submission win, Jazz. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to an arm bar at 38 seconds of the very first round. Your winner, Jamie, the chosen one.